Today I'm going to show you how you can get a really good auto clicker for yourselves for free and without viruses. Now either way, if you still don't feel safe downloading something, then please don't. Anyways, we're going to be downloading OP Auto Clicker. The website you want to go to is www.opautoclicker.com, no spaces, no underscores. Um, now this is linked in the description just for you guys. You should probably click on that link because there's also websites like opautoclick.com and that stuff and those are probably viruses so um, you want to watch out for that. Anyways, this one isn't right here and we can just click on that um, orange download button right there. There's a uh, one underneath that actually if you want it for Mac OS and as you can see it's just uh, your download will start shortly. It's going to say that right over here and then um, once the uh, timer runs out you should it should automatically just start downloading as you can see it is started in the bottom left of my screen here we are in my downloads and as you can see we su we've successfully downloaded the auto clicker if you double click on this it is automatically going to launch um, it's going to create the AC lib folder um, however there will be no actual setup um, required to be able to launch this. Um, you can just literally double click on that and it'll automatically launch. Anyways, I'm going to explain to you guys how to use this. So first off, we have the click interval. Um, that's how often it's going to click. So in my case, it's 100 milliseconds. That's how often this thing's going to click, which is 10 times per second. Um, you can turn that to one millisecond. If you want, you can turn it to a thousand, which is just equal to one second. Um, anyways, that's how to do that. There's also, um, you can uh, click, you can also repeat. Um, so repeat until stopped. That's just default. That way, if you turn it on, it'll keep clicking and then you turn it off, it'll stop clicking, or you can repeat it, for example, 200 times. Yeah, and then it's going to click 200 times, and then it's going to stop, right? Um, so we can repeat until stops, probably what you want. Um, so then we have your mouse button, and this can be left, right, or middle. Um, I'm just going to keep it at left, right, then the click type single, um, or it could also double click, which means that now every millisecond it's going to double click. Um, so that's cool. Um, it's gonna the, so the cursor position. You can if you need a very specific location, you can um, choose a location using the Y and X axis of your screen. Um, but I don't recommend that. I recommend just choosing current location. For example, placing it here and then clicking on start. Yeah. Um, basically, then we also have the start here. Yeah, you can click on that to start it. However, um, that's going to be weird because then, you know, it, well, you know, it's, it's going to be clicking now. So if I hover this over anything, it's going to automatically click as you can see. Um, so I don't recommend doing that. Um, I recommend just put, putting a key in. So by default, it's F6, which is absolutely fine, but you can also go to the um, hotkey setting, then press on the start stop then press on any key for example p just like that then press on ok and now every time that i press on p as you can see it'll start and it'll stop and it'll start and it'll stop just like that um it's really simple you can change this hotkey um anytime you want so um i'm just going to change it back to f6 right there anyways um you also have the record and playback option and then it's just going to record your screen um, and the clicks you're making so you can do that if you want however if you need a screen recorder don't use this just use a normal one <laughs> um, anyways basically that's how to use this auto clicker uh, that's how to set it up of course if you have any questions whatsoever please um feel free to ask those uh, down below however for right now that's basically how to do this uh, thank you ever so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one Bye-bye.